Hello and welcome back. Sorry. Hello and welcome back to uh, Geek Pup Space TV. <laughs> uh, you are watching Geek Space TV. We are a nonprofit streaming studio based in the Seattle area, and our mission is to promote and increase uh, diversity and inclusion within gaming and geek spaces. And we are delighted to present the second half of the second episode of the third season of Leviathan Distant Stars, a Stars Without Number RPG. So, wait, which direction is Dan? Uh, I need to know. Is what? Down. Like, like Dan, Dan is down? I think they're team power uh, bottom. Yeah, we're always oh, team. He's uh, under me. I think I'm, yeah, I'm he's under, under Zianna. Yeah. I mean, he's dressed like a power bottom, so. <laughs> anyway, hey! quick remind announcements this Friday. <laughs> we have a new episode of Tops how... and Bottoms. <laughs> a new episode no. of Eat, Pray, Kill will be starting up. We have our fundraiser coming up this Sunday, and we do appreciate all of your uh, donations that will come through or that do come through. We will be reading out the messages at the oh, end of the no. break. Um, you can no. also check out our Patreon as no. well if you'd like to set up a regular recurring donation. And there is a tiny duck. I thought the top slammed away, down. Um, sure. Yes. And we will be giving away tank tops and shirts Just at our fundraiser. A um, and apparently there is a surprise! That comes with them. I don't um, understand anything. I gotta do research. <laughs> no, don't, <laughs> don't do that research. Don't, don't do that research, Claudia. I, no. I want to know what you're writing. In I'll the first half of you. this episode, the crew of the Batleth began a treatise. Uh, no, they began, they par, they began this? to parlay, parlay with some parlay. spirits that they had encountered, who were in fact transporting people <laughs> against their will, <laughs> aka say. slavery. They uh, had also encountered one of these spirits looked alarmingly like someone they knew, but didn't seem to be working with them. Uh, a one Conrad, Carl, uh, Lieutenant Conrad Carls Jr. Um, however, uh, he seems to still be working with the spirits. Eventually, these spirits came on board uh, to the Batleth, and um, perhaps not unsurprisingly, they got into a fight. And Arr, now we will yeah. pick up mid-fight. Yeah. Uh, it is, uh, Thea has just um, shot her gun, has jammed, and uh, Kika is aboard the other ship. She slammed into the engine, um, has singed herself slightly. There's burn marks. There oh, are oh, some oh, burn oh, marks. There's like, the, well, like, yeah. it just smells um, like burnt fur. <laughs> oh. Like all along the side. Her new shirt probably has singes. Uh, Ziana has been shot and <laughs> stabbed. Uh, Rachel is doing great. She's just hiding yeah. up in her little hidey awesome. hole. Mm -hmm. um, and Conrad has been shot, <laughs> thrown. Has he been stabbed? Not yet. Not, He's not been yet. shot multiple times. He's though. been shot multiple times by multiple people. Yeah, and he has been thrown. Um, He's having a day. He is having a day. And that brings us to Conrad and Rachel's turn. Conrad and or Rachel. Uh, so Conrad is... Currently up against the wall. Uh, he never had it all. God, they don't. <laughs> he doesn't take Prozac, though. I mean, maybe he should. <laughs> He's going to uh, extend his mm -hmm. arm, uh, and we'll see what happens. I guess. Excuse me. What? He's you flagging down a cab. Like the taxi. I mean, well, uh, it's he reaches been a while since out the into the void and seen him of the cargo hold. And I got a 10. And what is he trying to do? So, uh, oh, no. he reaches his arm out and he says, Yar, act fast. And all of a sudden his arm, uh, the hand like folds around and recedes into his, uh, the socket of his arm and out pops out a grapnel gun. And he says, Bisquick. And then... He calls out, Yar, they're too, they're too strong. We have to retreat. And he fires the grapnel gun at the captain's feet. To try the current to... captain, not your old yeah. captain. Okay. <laughs> we as well, Iris feet. Yes, to try to latch on to uh, her feet. How do you feel about this, there's, Bella? There's a dog bumping into the microphone. It makes it a lot harder to hate you. I know. I have a tiny dog on in front of me. <laughs> do you want to mess with the laptop, too? Oh. Or oh, dog I feel like this is down? a bad idea. Okay. Cool. Here. <laughs> I feel like she was going to jump in. She's not a cat. That wasn't going to end well. Okay. Um, <laughs> roll, I guess. Is it an attack roll? Yeah, it's it? definitely an attack roll. Right. If you were trying to grapple a person with your arm. <laughs> um, 
bubbles. And it's probably Pins. punch. Pins. I guess I, in, in this case, I'd take your... Would it be yeah, shoot? Yeah, I'll take shoot because you're doing it from a distance. Then it's a total of 20. That will succeed. Um, as it as it wraps, like it grapples on... T- she doesn't have feet. She's got legs, though. No, no. she doesn't. She's, got she's, got a tail. Like, she's like a mermaid. Okay, then yeah. the tail part, I, I guess. Are you gonna? It goes like right on the end of her tail, but it's not good. It's not a good grip. Like uh, they don't, slippery. they don't have something that a hand could easily grasp around. If you imagine, like the very end of her tail is probably big enough for a hand, but like the rest of it's like torso size. Well, that, that's what I'll go for, and I want to yank. Uh, basically to unbalance. Okay, that is going to be an opposed, ex- uh, you are going to do, we'll do exert and All strength. Right. Uh, six. Yeah, you yank and your arm just Oh, sorry. Your hand. Nine. Nine, still, I, I ah. rolled 10. Um, her hand, your hand slides off the tail as like the grappling hook that was your hand. Uh, just can't quite take a grip onto it and just sort of slips off as she lashes the tail to the side and it just flings out. Um. Yar, well, I tried to help. (laughs) Still helping. Who are you trying to help, you dimwit? Uh, Rachel. Yar, that's not very nice. Uh, (laughs) I'm very confused. I'm getting more confused as Conrad Everyone does various different things. So I like shot at him last, and then I see him like try to unbalance the captain or like retreat or whatever. And I'm just like, and I fire my other pistol at the captain. Okay. <laughs> I get a one. Yep. Um, do you? I think that's just gonna automatically fail. Yeah, that's, um, a, that's a one. Yeah. Yep. Uh, as as you as you aim, and that gun's probably that gun's gonna jam up. Yay! Oh. <laughs> no! Why did um, you yay? Uh, no, it, it, it was a sarcastic yay. Yeah. The mm-hmm. Angulan is it's just mad at you, but Ziana is in front of her, and Ziana is a the biggest threat, uh, which means Ziana gets attacked. I'm used to it. Are we not cheering? Uh, yours is 15. Yes. She will just miss. Yeah. Um, as she goes in and doesn't quite succeed. Um, but, no, your AC is just too high for her to do shock damage. Um, that puts it at the other guy. Maybe, maybe he will hit you. I mean, he could try. God damn it. <laughs> this is as well. Uh, Ziana. I mean, I don't need to goad anybody into attacking me. I'm already being attacked. So I guess we're just going to the second verse, the same as the first. And just take another swing at her as she also yells out, uh, um, you clearly do not value your life. Um, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That will hit. Uh, and that was boop, and boop, and three, four, five, six, seven damage. That. It's just the last bit that you needed. Oh, snap! She slumps under as you go in, like, gut through her suit and just rip out a chunk of Angulan flesh and blood and mucus. uh, And I also... That just, like, slimes down your arm and she slumps over and falls unconscious. As it... appears to be bleeding. As it... As as the the Andartan guts come down my arm, uh, she levels her eyes, her gaze at the uh, at the thug uh, who's been attempting and failing to fire at the at the at the, mm-hmm. at the Rachel. Do you want to goad him into attacking you? Can I? Am I not out of? It's an on turn action, so I think I'm out of action. No, that's um. Is it an action or an on turn action? Because on on, tu- on turn action is what you wrote. Um, on turns are things um that you can do as uh as many of them as you want, basically. Oh, they're like talking. 
Uh, yeah, let's do it. Um, so, target rolls mental it's essentially save. Essentially, a bonus action. Okay. Um, so, uh, goad one target into attacking. Target rolls a mental save, and on fail, the target has a disadvantage on attack rolls on anyone but me until my next turn. Okay. Uh, as you goad him into attacking you, he does not succeed. Uh, he will most definitely be like, I guess I gotta shoot you. You just took my captain down. Ah, uh, Kika, you find yourself in engineering. You are singed. There is a small amount of, of flame uh, coming oh, off come. like the tips of your ears. You gotta do that. Uh, what do you do? Hmm. Well, <laughs> old frigates like this still have automated sensors for air filter systems. So if I can make it believe that the air filter doesn't exist, uh, then a sensors will go off and they'll need to jettison their space, their, their, their air pods, even though nothing's wrong. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over to the filtration system and just lightly, like, so we're break the you sensor. said a bunch of words, yeah. I love the confidence with which <laughs> you, know, you just didn't. No, but like it works with these. cars too. Like when your car filters, and it goes. Constantly you definitely, goes off. I definitely it have definitely to jettison, jettison my myself. Air pods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, they're, they're like, oh no, our air is being filtered. We will die because we're in space. Let's all jump into our escape pods and leave the ship here. Instead of coming down to engineering to fix it. No, it's broken forever. <laughs> <laughs> Live your best so, life. what are you <laughs> trying to do? I am trying to get a large enough sensor that they think that there is a major air failure and they need to jettison from the ship. With a you sensor. want them to evacuate. Yes. Okay, it is... You want to cause some... Uh, a, an important enough malfunction that they think the only recourse they have is to evacuate yes. their ship and their escape pods. Yes. Okay. Could you just, like, turn on the self-destruct? No, because I'm on the ship. Um, and also and there's people on the ship. To us. There's 20, wait, 26, 9, 12, 15, wait, no, that's So this is going to probably be a series of actions. You are not sure. going to be able to um, sure? cause something in one turn that is going to uh, make them think that the ship is uh, like in enough of a situation that yeah. they can't just try and fix it. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to start that process. I know, like, or here's the question. Do I just have to break it so that they leave? Like, you sound like your 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 goal is to attack their, like, air, like, their, what filth, is their easier, life support system. To trick them into leaving or just break it? It would be easier to break it, but if it's actually broken, then you are also in jeopardy. For how long? For as long as until it's... You die. Until you're dead or not on the ship anymore. Yeah, I'm thinking about them. They'll jettison them too, right? No! <laughs> Maybe. All right. I better not officially break it. But, like, if there's a twist, I'm going to break it. Do okay. Well, fix it. Um, so this is going to be a series. It's a progress clock. So you're going to have um, each segment uh, that you succeed in doing will get you closer to your goal, which is causing a uh, faking a system malfunction yes. as opposed to actually causing a yeah. system malfunction. And you were targeting the life support system? Yeah. Okay. The, the only system that they would actually not repair, but just leave. What? <laughs> Generally, like, okay, so things that would cause you to just leave a ship and not try and repair it would probably be the ship is going to explode. Oh. Or there is a significant, like, radiation leak or something that you couldn't get to to the actually The radiation repair. is getting in the airstream. Okay. What? <laughs> Yeah, if there, if there was enough she of a radiation, just wants like, it to have to do with the airstream. Okay. I came up with the word airstream. Okay, so uh, <laughs> radiation. So clearly, it's radiation leak. Because if it was catastrophic enough that you couldn't get to the system to repair it, because it would kill you to get to it. Yeah, um, but most like a vac suit would protect them. things. Okay. Um, ten. You roll ten. Okay, that's right. enough. Um, Wait, eleven. Here's okay. the question, though. Eleven. You are just. Running around in the engine room, yeah? Yeah. Perfect. It's hot. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Eleven, uh -oh. though. I definitely got eleven. Uh, so you, you kind of duck around, like, the side of the engine, and you see a console, and you just sort of head over. Was that? Wait, sorry. Was that fix? Yeah, fix is eleven. You're going to need a real program for this one. 
Excuse me. You're trying to you're trying to <laughs> make it look like that there is a malfunction, not actually make a malfunction. If you want to make a malfunction, it would be fixed. Okay. I've never seen or so indignant. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm making you roll program for this. You're trying to make the computer on board the ship think that there is a malfunction. I'll take your previous roll. No, because that was a fixed roll. I got it. Um, ten. Okay. Um, so you head over to this console and you like start tip tapping away, but they don't have a footstool or like a proper. So you're like trying to climb onto it, um, and you begin reprogramming the onboard ship sensors to believe that there is a significant radiation leak that is infiltrating the life support system. I do, though, put in my headset so that I can hear the commands that they're saying. Yeah. Because otherwise I can't hear. Um, okay. Uh, Thea. Uh, okay, so Captain went down, and the other guy is uh, taking pot shots and also being attacked. Um, I'm going to throw my rifle at him because I'm not going to take the time to unjam it. <laughs> yeah. Um, roll, roll your exert. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's in attack roll. Throw back. Ha, literally. Ha, uh, 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 oh, that was a two. I don't even know what I add to it, but I'm uh, sure that's you throw bad. the rifle. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you want to take a consequence, or do you want to dismiss him? Don't risk the rifle. Risk it. Risk it. Go big or go home. Yeah, rice. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the consequence. Okay. Um, as, uh, as you toss the rifle, it, like, hits him, um, and it does this really weird kind of bounce. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's Conrad. I'm Actually, like at the no. other end of the room. It lands on Conrad's, um, it does hit you. It hits your hand. It hits your grappling hook. That hasn't retracted yet. A mess. Oh. I this fella. I did okay, so I forget what I throw for roll for uh, roll for throwing my. Oh, uh, it's one d six. Thanks. So and no, I actually have a better idea. Do you want to go? You can't. Uh, you hit him. Hold on. Uh, so that'll be four, I believe. Okay. This is the yeah. first person that has hit him. Um, wait, who? Uh, uh, the goon. The guy. The goon. The goon. Yeah. Um. He catches the rifle. Like, it oh. hits him, it scatters, and he just picks it up, and he has two rifles now. It's still, is it still it's overheated, still jammed, or did it fix though, itself? Right? Or did the throw fix it? Um, it was overheated. Oh, okay. Okay. So he can take the turn, but he has the rifle. Um, he still has one that works. And mm -hmm. Conrad, Rachel. Is it, uh... It's usually your turn first. All right. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna retract the, uh, <laughs> the the grapnel back into my hand. Uh, sort of like flops. And on the now that the slightly. now that the captain's down, uh, I quickly issue a uh, issue a meet me. We've got to get the slaves away from the uh, from the rest of the pirates. Oh, now meep, you meep. want to talk? Now you. <laughs> Oh, there's a like, dog. Yeah. Almost in unison, both yeah. Thea and Ziana. Oh, now, now you, you want to talk. talk. Uh, and I, I reach next to me, and I grab the nearest Mito Sticko. <laughs> and I get up, and I do, like, a spinning uh, slam with the Mito Sticko into Mito it. Stickos cannot be used as a weapon. Uh, yeah, questionable. <laughs> I they're, mean, you could shove it down his throat and like try to suffocate him. Yeah, I mean, you want to grapple Ooh, him and yeah. do that with a meat stick out. All right, so that basically what <laughs> I'm I sorry, is, not everything can count as an improvised weapon. <laughs> it's got to be I, an object I that could I assume these meat stickos are like pretty deadly. They're like jerky. I mean, they're deadly if you eat them. All right, so fine. I, <laughs> I uh, instead I leap up onto the guy's back, uh, and I uh, shove the meat sticko down his gullet. Okay, you're gonna need to roll a grapple. Great. Um, so this is going to be an opposed strength versus, uh, in your case, it's a punch attack. Um, oh. So punch plus your strength. Uh, and it's no attack bonus or anything like that. Uh, you are rolling Gosh. your, yeah, no attack bonus, so okay. it's um, 2d6 plus uh, strength plus punch. All right, uh, 11. Uh, you succeed. You grapple uh -huh. him. Now you roll the attack. Okay. <laughs> Shove it down his throat. 
as you leap onto him and just try and stuff God it down it. his throat. Oh. Uh, let's see. Five. five uh, <laughs> ten, <laughs> eleven. That will miss. Spazka. However, mm-hmm. uh, it's a melee attack, mm-hmm. and it should uh, it does shock damage. Mito stickers do not have shock damage. <laughs> but my improvised it's the weapon. combatant. Uh, has... Deeply important question from chat: What flavor Mito sticko is mm. it? Um, the Boys and the shock damage happens, but it's still got to be higher than their AC. Uh, so, because of my close combatant. Mm-hmm. Uh, it should, 10 should be the uh, AC that's used for it. Okay. So. Um, what the... Sure, you deal one point of shock damage. Yes. As you just <laughs> slap him in the face <laughs> with some food. Gah! Gah, gah, gah. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, don't worry, it's going to be great, because uh, Rachel, it's your turn. Uh, I shoot at both of them, and I don't <laughs> care which one gets it. <laughs> Fair. Um, roll your attack. Okay. I, I regret nothing. <laughs> you no, nor do. should you, because you have lived your uh, best life. Seventeen. Exactly. Uh, that will that will hit Conrad. What's your AC? Seventeen. Um, it's that magic number. And okay, a lot of what? people keep tying with it. <laughs> you need just one um, more. Who were you aiming for? Who do you think Rachel would? I mean, one guy is trying to shove something th- down another guy's throat. I'm assuming that you're like grabbing onto him. I'm probably just shooting like generally in his neck, hoping maybe I'll get a little bit of his arm too, but mostly at the like guy that's being choked. Okay, uh, roll your damage. Okay. Oh, she's making eye contact with you. Uh, seven. <laughs> um, Conrad, you take three points of damage. Woo! And he will take the other four. Still, Ooh. still alive. Conrad. Barely. There is a rifle in your gut. It will automatically hit you. You are grappling him. Oh no! Is this the one that he just picked Dis- up that's still jammed? No, this is the one that he already had. Oh. That is in his gut. Oh no. Um, and you take ten points of damage. Whew. Oh. Uh-oh. You down? As he just shoves no, it yet. in your gut as you are trying to shove food in his face and he lets a shot blast off. Meet me, guys. I've had to improvise a lot, just so you're aware. Uh, meet me. You meet, and I are going to have words after this. Ziana. Uh, Ziana is going to grab Conrad and... <laughs> Please uh, throw him. Not throw him. <laughs> She's going to bodily pull him behind yes. her. Are you going to try and resist? Uh, I'm not gonna okay. try and resist. I'm then still trying to shove Mito Stico in. Take him <laughs> the guy's down. Face. Uh, and and <laughs> really uh, in, in in doing so is also going to um, um, I'm gonna go it again. Oh, you said I could do that, right? Mm-hmm. Sweet. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go it again. He, uh, the only reason he automatically succeeded is that he was being grappled. Okay, but I still I don't want him to go after. He he was still goaded by you. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. But but that oh, only lasts right. until it's the end. Of, yeah. Right. Yes. Go yeah. ahead. If you want to so, do it again, sorry. So, I'm yeah. So she's going going to what I wrote him. as rules. Yeah. So she's going to pull Conrad back behind her, and at the same time, um, um, growl to this thug. Um, you will soon end up like your captain. Ooh. Grr. <laughs> I was trying to give an advantage for that performance. He looked like his eyes kind of go wide as he holds the two rifles in his hands. One like slightly overheated one and one like smoking gun barrel uh, from having just shot Conrad. And the door um, is ferocious. And he looks like he feels like he should attack you. Um, nice. It's also still your turn. What do you do? Uh, I am going to... Can I attack him? Yeah. Yeah, you still have an action. Let's do it! We roll! <laughs> uh, with the... So I grabbed you with my right arm, and I'm gonna attack with my left. Um, 15. I'm gonna about to add an 8 to this. Nice. Shall I continue? Oh, yeah, no, you can <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Um, so then my d12... Eight damage. Solid shot. Um, as you you just claw into him, and he like 
screams slightly as sort of his arm drops. Kika. <laughs> Someone taps you on the shoulder. <gasps> what? <laughs> Pulls you away from the console. <laughs> do I fall? Do I hit the ground or is they? Um, give me a strength and exert. I didn't think I didn't think it was gonna come to this. I don't know why. <laughs> Never said you were giving me. <laughs> I didn't, didn't know think someone me. would be in the engine room of a ship. What? No, that's my place. Six. <laughs> they grab you and they are actually just like holding you by the arm as they pull you around and away from the console and kind of hold you off the ground and just look at you. How big are they? They are, they are, you have you been are meter kicked tall. tall. <laughs> meter tall. They're picking you up like a child. But let me, like, I, describe to me what this thing is so um, I don't feel bad when I'm They're picking you up like this. They are, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically, like, and you're sort of squirming. Um, I like that you don't feel bad when, when you murder them. Um, they, they grab you, um, uh, well, let's say female or female looking, um, kind of, uh, sort of slicked back hair, fairly short, um, like a mean sort of scar across her face. Mm. Um, it, her hair is like uh, bright green and there's like stuff braided, like, or probably not braided into it, but she's got like weird draping and just like a lot of extra layers. That sounds um, Mostly human, but there does look like there's a weird sort of tinge to her skin. You're, you, you think she might actually be naturally green haired. Are there multiple rows of teeth? No. Oh, no, um, no teeth. No, Tried. no extra rows of teeth. She's Tried. got like a, a much more like a, it's actually a really like cute little button sort of nose. Oh, okay. Um, and like kind and of her hair definitely looks ears. red to Hika. Yeah, um, yeah, her hair looks red. <laughs> and uh, she just sort of picks you up and like holds you by the arms and is like, "What the hell are you doing?" I'm not gonna perform anything. <laughs> um, so Kika just goes like. <laughs> and like goes into her um I guess like this is now just like battle sense of like this is my engineering space now. So it goes into her like she's got a little like goes and then she like click clicks and it was a screwdriver and now it's this little flame wielding torch and just gonna try to run it across their eyes. Okay, roll attack as she's holding your arms. Um uh, you are gonna be at disadvantage because she's holding on to your arms. That's fair. Do I have to roll D two D twenties then? And take and the lower. Take the lower. Yep, take the lower okay. one. Um, and I'm, is this a... Oh, this is, uh, this is, uh... Um, look at how gray your arms are. Stab. Oh. Well, that would have been a good skill to have. <laughs> Do you not have the skill? No. Okay, then subtract two from whatever yeah, this roll is. Yeah, I get it. Uh, oh, disadva disadvantage? Yeah. 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 I would like two. They're, they're pretty wildly you different. You pull the torch out and you flail slightly as you're doing this and she just like squeezes you in tighter and she oh she sort God. of like grabs your arms and flips you around and she's like, got another one and starts walking you away. Ow, ow, oh. ow. Another okay. one. Is it like there's gonna be little kicks going on. Ow. The little ow. hand flame throwing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and she's gonna like motion so to someone cute. else to help her who's gonna there's like. There's another one down there. Okay. Um, Remind record, me if I'm going to talk into the mic as if this is a press conference. Since when is there two engineers on one ship? Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. Have you, it's a big ship. It's there's minimum of ten crew on this ship, and we there's never, five positions. So we, there's two in each position. Okay. Except the captain's yeah, not going like to have two positions. We've this never, is excessive. This, this is a too lot many. of engineers. I'm talking to the union. You know, about ordinarily, this. I think there would be <laughs> ten people in the bridge and yeah. no one anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Engineers yeah. Sounds, drive trains. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you've done, um, Anna. And she's gonna motion over to someone else, and they're gonna like fumble at your hand and no, like no. pull the like try and rip the tool out of your no, hand. No, it's mine. Um, give me another strength and exert. Oh god. I mean, if this were a ship in Star Trek, there would be at least ten engineers all ten. wearing red shirts. Um, right. It takes for the a killing. moment, and they're like you were. And it's grappled and they're fumbling and like you manage to like burn one of them slightly, but they do pull your uh, multi tool no, away that. from you. <laughs> no, I need that. And then I'm clearly an pocket it. Oh no! Oh, oh god! No, no. not Thule. Um <laughs> That's his name, yeah. right? Feels bad. 
Do you get like a Oh, I think you named it Tuli like a while ago. Tuli. Tulio? Yeah. Um, no, it's just I do Tuli. like Tuli. Um, yeah, it's your turn. Oh, oh, shoot. I can't even meet me. Okay. I don't have um, my thing anymore, but I assume that, uh, let's see, he's pretty distracted by other people. Is there any space behind him at this point? Like how, how far would it be for me to get behind him and stab him in the back? Um, he was behind cover and you got turned around, so you probably wouldn't be able to get to his back particularly easily. Um, if you're very successful on your stealthing, you might still be able to get, um, you probably wouldn't be able to completely surprise him, but you could get advantage okay. on stabbing him. I want to do that. Okay, roll your stealth. I guess you still have to take as stealth as an action, so do you want to so do that this win. third? That'd yeah. be the only thing you can do this turn. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I will stealth, and that will be 11. Yep. Yep. Um, Kika's, or not Kika, Thea's sort of like visual kind of flickers again, almost to, to all of you as it seems to shift out of phase, and she sort of like slides in around the side of the um, escape pod. She's like, be invisible, be invisible, be invisible. Be and her like, yep. fingers like twirl around each other like little candy canes, and then she goes away. Oh, Conrad, I'm just like wondering if she got a new jacket or something. <laughs> like, is this some kind of cloaking technology? Did you go shopping? I don't know. She's she thinks it's the fingers. I think at this point. Uh, Conrad pulls out his thermal pistol. It's gonna take a shot. Why he didn't use that at any other point in this fight, I don't know. <laughs> Look, we don't, too far away. You don't ask us how we make our decisions. <laughs> but very, very importantly, he's going to take a bite of Mito Stico as he takes the shot. <laughs> roll with disadvantage for disgusting, but no, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, roll your attack. All right, that's more like it. That's going to be like so Mito Stico's good luck. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, What's your damage? It's got one disadvantage. Uh... Plus uh, 14. 14? Yeah. Nice. Um, that's enough. <gasps> uh, as you take the last shot, he sort of slams against the side of the escape pod and just sort of slumps down. I say, guess you weren't this quick enough. Oh, God. I shoot you in the head. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rachel, you act on the same turn. So uh, do you do anything before we drop out of combat? I um, die. <laughs> <laughs> I've been oh hi. Um, at that point, we will drop out of combat time. No. Ziana grabs Conrad by the front of his shirt. <laughs> what of it there is? Yeah. What? What exactly? <laughs> the, the by the buckle. Rips. Oh yeah, by the buckles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Buy some of okay. the buckles. Yeah, Twist some of the buckles. I, it's so hard to be <gasps> aggro. I've got a little puppy on my leg. Like, <laughs> like, it changes like, everything. By doing this, she's like, she's like doing puppies. Hi. Yeah, Hi. it's really hard to be aggressive. <laughs> I know. It's really so hard. She grabs him by the front of his shirt. Sienna, what took you so long? Jeez. Also, I met your mother. Did you realize that she's a queen? Which makes you, you did not actually... Meet your you would not have met the mother. No? You met other Andartans. Oh. The, the queen did not does not leave to go on scouting missions that would interact at all with Maybe space someone pirates. mentioned it. I would have gotten someone, the information. Yeah, you could have easily gotten the information, but you definitely yeah. did not meet her, just to make that clear. As I was saying, <laughs> did you realize that you're actually a princess? This quick? <laughs> what have you been doing all of this time? Do you know how worried we all were? I wasn't. Not Thea. <laughs> Look, wh- what do you think I was trying to do? I was. Trying I, to get back and to help you guys save the whole galaxy. Are you from, insane? I come have down taken, from the sniper's nest and like search the bodies of the other two pirates. <laughs> have you? Have, there are rifles. Nice. I take them. Have you taken brain damage? Have you been brainwashed? No, of course not. Have you been infiltrated by I walk technology? Over. The only one doing the infiltration was me, okay? I walk over to Ziana and I say, where's Kika? You sh... Where's Kika? What oh, do you she mean, went where's on to the ship? Kika? What ship? 
their ship. Also, Thea saw you, like, looting the bodies, but she didn't join. Uh, their ship. She's gonna sabotage it, so she must be in process. Meet me, Kika. So we're done here. Where are ya? <laughs> Is it range? Yeah. They took Thule! What? They took Thule! There's... Do you Who know took Thule? No. What kind of a... What kind of a madness is this? I'm, I... I... They They're are carrying you. Um, you eventually get to, uh, like, they, they just, like, have you hugged. There's um, a lot. I can actually describe in detail how you would be held onto, but yeah. we don't need to get into that. Uh, so they are holding you, and you squirm a lot. There's a lot of squirming. can't quite get out. Um, and they sort of slam open a door, and they just throw you into a room. Um, in there, there are another, uh, from what you can see, there are another, like, Probably eight or oh, so people in no. there, and the door slams closed. No. Do I get this information from either of just you? Just a second. Uh, meet me. Well, I have. Well, she just said out loud yeah. that. Oh, that I grab the Julie. hat off of the captain and I hand <laughs> it. Like a weird hole I, in it. I slips. hand it to Ziana and I say, "Let's go get her back." Meet me. You're the captain now. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, Claudia. <laughs> I found eight of them. I'm in the room. You found uh, eight of you, I think I've been kidnapped. Kika, it. No, no. You've nobody. been kidnapped? That is both yeah. out loud and mentally. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Kika. Where were we meeting? Do not. Hi, Kika, her. Hi, Conrad. Wait, so you're mad at him now? He does this I just want to keep track. <laughs> well, I'm not, look, I don't care. The, just, but you're not mad at me I anymore, have like right? four guns now and I'm going for the airlock. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I want to be. Hana is right behind her. Um, and... So there, there was the, the rifle that um, the, the man had. There's the two blades that the, which they're, they're just medium um, mono, mono blades. Okay. Um, uh, I want to be very clear. Wants I to take those. Here. Otherwise, no, I have like all of their weapons. If that's their the only armor, thing, like the yeah. Angulan armor, would not fit anyone unless it wants to flop around <laughs> in it, like you're wearing a sleeping bag. Um, otherwise, they don't really have a lot on them. Yeah, I just take probably their weapons. Probably those would yeah. be the only thing. I'd, and I give the hat to, to to Sienna as though, like, yeah, the you're the captain now thing. Uh, and yeah, then it's just like four rifles, like okay. two, three Thea, knives. Thea holds Zia out her hand for the old rifle. Uh, I mean, Zianna? I didn't, I didn't take. I mean, like, oh. Ziana? The problem is that there's a big hole in it. So puts the hat like, on. Yes. <laughs> and grabs the body of the, the captain. It's fine. <laughs> and grabs the body of the captain and hauls it with her towards you, the airlock. You'd behind. have more arms if you put me down. <laughs> yeah, you were let go. She, she, she drops you, <laughs> grabs the body grabs of the captain. Grabs the body and heads towards the airlock. Uh, Oksana, open a channel to the pirate ship. Yes, Captain. Pirate crew, your captain is dead. Your crew is next if you do not surrender to our terms. Yar, we should all surrender, yar. Ugh. Don't help me. I'm intimidating. Um, yeah, roll. Uh, in this case, I think it would probably... Well, but she gets the airlock. She's going to, like, whack the body onto it. Okay, uh, so as you, you storm in, you throw the airlock up in the snow. The, the other side, um, conveniently, you see a bunch of wires that have been, like, messed with as uh, clear evidence that Kika was there. You sort of, like, pull on it. Thea would be able to open it. The door slides open. You slam the captain's body into the hallway that had the airlock, and, like, like two pirate crew people just sort of, like, look down the hallway at this nonsense that's going on as you announce on their system. Roll your intimidate. Why is that always a one? Why is that always a one? Ice cage? Five. No. Six. Seven. Eight. I don't have my toolie. I need I more in exert. It's an eight. Um, the two people who were in the hallway, they just sort of like, she stands there. It's the same one that just threw uh, Kika in. In fact, Kika, you hear this coming over. I can hear it. We're yeah. close. Yep. It's, okay. the same, it's the same hallway. They just like, we're walking back towards engineering and she just like puts to the side and she's like, you don't look very good in that hat. Besides, captain's dead. I'm the new captain then. <gasps> then I suppose. I shoot her. <laughs> <laughs> then you are the next we to both die. Shoot. We have both of us just draw yeah. at the same time from behind Ziana. <laughs> okay. Um, let's, uh, I think 
that's actually where we should probably stop for yeah. tonight. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> We're not on that sheet anymore, are we? Are no, we? This, is yeah. says, this right here is downtime. <laughs> no, no, no. We haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. I am in a small box. We're, 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 in fairness, tools. all of this is just the big problem, which is Conrad. There's slaves on the ship. Conrad, <laughs> what are they going to do? I'm a big question mark. On the page. I did not expect to be kidnapped, but I'm surprised that hasn't happened before. I don't know why you didn't expect it, but <laughs> I don't know why you didn't expect it either. Especially when you stopped saying you were trying to sneak at all, and you were just like, "Nah, I'm just gonna go to this console in engineering and do boop 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 boop." I've never Donna. seen another person in engineering before. There should be at least one. I'm there. It's not your ship. (laughs) Got a brand new jaunty hat with a big slit in it that I don't need. (laughs) No, it's like (laughs) falling. It's fine. It's a little bit slimy. It's okay. It's very slimy. We did good today, guys. Yeah, we did. I'm the captain now. (laughs) I think it was a productive day. I mean, Rachel's really like impatient. With all of this, I'm okay what? With that. I mean, understandably, this was supposed to be like one side mission, and then it's turned into two side missions. And like, you just now want to get back to your husband. I yep, imagine. we're yeah. gonna have a frigate, partner, guys. I remember, I, it's it's I don't know, humans, <laughs> humans. Are we? Are you? I mean, what else? Like, wh- what else could possibly be Who the outcome all? of this? A uh, new press conference between I would the podcast, like Mike. To- <laughs> I would um, like to uh, posit that uh, Rachel just gets in a ship and leaves all of you. Uh, <laughs> actually, good uh, question. Uh, we will probably yeah, spend all season three trying to escape from the slave ships. Uh, I feel like that's. Oh yeah, this is. Season, I thought you thought other things were going to happen in no, season three, like no, no. saving the galaxy. No, no. this is all going to be about saving Comrade. I'd like and, to. Uh, Ultimately, no. stealing things. None of, none of that. All right. I'm going to read out a couple of donations pop. that came through in the second I would like half. to posit that we read out the donation. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm just going to say, <laughs> I, I like really to like to second that motion. Uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, thank you. Um, order, order. I, I order concur. <laughs> uh, our first donation came from Sharky. So I'm going to read this because the message says it's in Sharky's voice. Um, Wait, that, that's the MPC's voice? That was that's Sharky's voice. That was no, that was that, was, that, that was a shark, shark spirit that Dan's previous character had that just spoke in. Yeah, music. I'm glad that Dan's previous character's not here. <laughs> Mordecai was great. He's kind of a little like uh, <laughs> this quick. <laughs> I'm going to where that inspiration came from. Uh, The next one is from Pumpkin One with 1428. Looks like I still have more time before the TOS cracked down. Also, excited to find out the events of Kika's Covert Ops. Didn't go well. (laughs) Didn't go well, guys. Spoiler alert. They were more ops than they were Covert Ops. Who could have predicted? Uh, This is my first time I've been punished for an (laughs) incident. Saving Lieutenant (laughs) Conrad. It's the first... It's not... Oh, yeah. This is the first time I felt punishment. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll talk more later. BB Phantom <laughs> with five dollars. Yar har fiddle dee dee. Be an aspirant is all right with me. Do what you want, cause aspirant is free. Bis quick aspirant. No. <laughs> uh, there's a new a cartoon uh, show. Hashtag Kika. Uh, Kika is best bat. Hashtag um, un- unrelated hashtags. Hashtag love you all. Thank you, BB oh, Phantom. Yes. Hashtag love you too. Yeah. Thank you so much for all of the donations that came through. Um, we will do a quick sign off, but as some reminders, this Friday is the first episode of season three, oh, season two, sorry, of Eat, Pray, Kill, a Kill Six Billions Demon, a Kill Six Billion Demons RPG using the Broken World system. Um, so tune in for that at 7 p.m. Pacific time on Friday, and then on Saturday, join us for our fundraiser, uh, where we play games and entertain you and also frequently ask for money because we are a non-profit streaming studio based in the seattle area and we truly appreciate all of your support our mission is to improve and promote diversity and inclusion within gaming <coughs> and geek spaces and we were very glad to have you along for this ride uh, so let's find out where you can find these wonderful players uh next time starting with the jauntiest hat wearer anna can i talk about the thing sure sweet so you can find me uh, on the internet at Liz the Bold. That's who I am, Liz the Bold, on the Twitches and the Twitters. 
There are two upcoming places that you can find me of a special, a, a special interest, migraine willing. Uh, during the fundraiser, you will find me uh, donning a very uh, different accent uh, oh, and uh, resuming a certain spikedelic role uh, on a spikedelic. Fanny, Fanny Ryder will be making her return to Geek Space. That's such a good accent. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is French accent. <laughs> if you're interested, you can also find me uh, on Periscope for a little while tomorrow uh, at about se- 6 p.m., I think, Pacific. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a unboxing slash walkthrough thing of a uh, new horror subscription box that I got because some people were interested in oh. that. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I shall. Uh, my name is Claudia, but on Twitter, I go Twitch and Twitter. I go by Jackie Dash, J A K I D A S H. Wait, wait, sorry. <laughs> I miss. Um, usually, you can catch me for Saturdays when I do Saturday stuff, but I'm going to be in another state that might not have internet because I'm going to my grandma's house. But on Monday, we're going to play more Near Automata, where robots have feelings, I think. Near a tomato. Near a tomato. Uh, I'm Dan Poslins at Dan Poslins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarah. You can find me at Shell Game on Twitch and Twitter. Or you can check me out on sarahperforms.com if you want to see live performances. Uh, I'm Blue Jay. You can find me most days at twitch.tv slash Blue Jay or on Twitter at Blue Jay underscore 712. Uh, you can also find me role playing all over the internet. I host and tweet and talk about it all over, so you'll find it if you want to find it. And if you don't want to find it, then you don't have to. That's okay. You're great. Can I make an addendum? I'm so sorry. An addendum? Yeah. Yes. Or uh, amendment. Uh, amendment. No, I like an amendum. An amendum. Monday is me and Truckley's uh, affiliate anniversary, so there's going to be cake involved. Affiliate. Oh, I heard about this. Oh. Yeah, so this uh, not really sure what else, but I guess we will not be doing Wait, an can Android I come over any cake? Robots. Questionable. I don't know. I mean, partners are just too cool for us. I don't need to be on the stream. I just want to eat the cake. That's fair. Yeah. We'll figure it I will definitely <laughs> deliver some cake to you. Can you mail me a I piece heard there's of some cake? cookies no. that are happening soon. Cookies! Cookies? Um, Migraine willing. I have been random. I, I I am random Tuesday. I've been your GM for this evening. You can find me on the internet at random Tuesday. Um, I do RPGs in other places and stream creative shit on my own channel and sometimes stompy robots. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. We will see you on Friday at 7 p.m. for Eat, Pray, Kill. And in the meantime, have a wonderful day, night cycle, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. We like you. You should. Like you should you. mail me a.